ogre, or I'll get you with my sword! I'll spare you this time, beast, but don't cross me again, ever! <laughs> You're really fun! Hey, I'm gonna hide somewhere in the cave and you come find me! Ready? You are in the wrong place, Pinky. Do stop gaping. Anything can be procured inside these walls. But I do not see him. No one tells me there are so many children in this Fort Joy. Your kind I handle, but small ones. You know what they do? They play a game called Scream. In this game, they see who screams the loudest. I feel the Divine's loss so sharply during Scream. The young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns towards you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. Ah, hello. Quite the blood-soaked journey has led you here. You are not who you once were, and I sense you are not yet who you will be. I see it before my eyes. It is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. Wary all of a sudden, she takes a step back from you. I cannot offer you much more than my sympathies. Our fates are intertwined, yours and mine. This clouds my vision. Her eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. My protector, my friend. An elf like me, with a spirit bright as new leaves. He tries to help me, to save me, and he suffers very much. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek. A way out. I know I can trust you. I see it before my eyes. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. Yes, please ask. Oh, I do not cover my eyes. I cover the place they used to be. They are gone now, taken. But I see all the same. He is a very blind man. He sees things but not truth, not love or joy. I feel very sorry for him. You understand when you meet him, after you escape. It is safer here. We make no trouble for Griff. He makes no trouble for us. I knew we must be here. I am not sure how much to explain. You are here, and so we are here.
My home is far. Your language gives me some trouble. We elves, time for us is now. There is not then and when. Thank you for your help with that, thug. Rare is the human who goes against their own for an elf. She bows. I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. In this cave, we trust Sahela. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magisters come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. Wait, before you go. I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. Thank you.
Thank you for your help with that thug. Rare is the human who goes against their own for an elf. The elf appears momentarily puzzled by your comment, but then offers you a dignified little bow. As far as I'm concerned, you are noble and just in both actions and appearance. I am in your debt. I feel him, but I do not. Ah, my unlikely friend. What do you need? Likely friend, what do you need? This hole is too small for you to squeeze into. Oh! Wow! You're really smart! I bet. You know what? I bet my best friend would really, really, really like you. Come on, I'll introduce you. to spell introduce it's I am I've spotted something hmm. my way is too small for you you'll have to find another hope you brought a shovel
Please, small child, leave me to my ruminations. But he's really nice and tall. Maybe he can even help you with that thing. Why? A grown friend. You brought an adult here. Good. Good God. Can it be? Ah, you're back. And you brought... But... But who is this? You! Tell me true. Stand you with the Source Hunters, or do you serve the tyrant Bracchus Rex? A thousand years. Gods, the walls of this pit have leached a whole millennium from me. I haven't seen a living soul in all that time. What a strange notion. A wicked king, it was. Bracchus Rex by name. The Order of the Source Hunters discovered a great horror upon this prison isle, and I was sent to stop it. Yet, my failure was absolute. I am not fit to bear the insignia of the Source Hunters any longer. Please, good sir, you must free me. Prize this spear from my chest, where it has been stuck fast for the last thousand years. Seize the spear. End this degradation. I beg you. Uh, ah, it's stuck fast. Uh, I got it. Good, sir. You have set my body free. Free to crumble to dust at last. But my spirit... Blast! I remain trapped in this mouldering skeleton yet. I have heard of such magic, but have never known anyone so foul as to employ it. Bracchus Rex. May maggots lace his entrails. After he interred me in this cell, he must have drawn my very soul away from me and stored it elsewhere in the fort. Thus, he has bound me entirely to the mundane realm. But I know this place well. I could lead you to its likely location. In turn, you would find a path straight out of this fort. My freedom for yours. What say you? Marvelous, my friend. Marvelous. You'll first have to get inside the fort itself. There's a secret switch on a statue of the Seven in the courtyard. Surely you know it. The switch will open a hatch, and you'll be led into the prison's main floor. I suspect that within Bracchus's phylactery room, you will find the container which ensnares my soul. He has likely disguised it well, but search there for another hidden switch. Bracchus would have made me a supplicant, a slave to these walls. With your help, I'll die, at last, with dignity. I was fully briefed about this awful place before I came. My goal was to destroy the fiend who had been marshalling the world's most unwholesome weapons and magic into an army he intended to use against the realm. I never thought I would become one of his victims, and yet, here I am. Fort Joy is a dangerous place, my friend. Dangerous indeed. Bracchus used this place to build an arsenal of terrible weaponry as yet unseen in our world. Here, he and his researchers crafted punishments and snares contrary to human dignity. Objects that could contain souls, ones that could purge the very essence from sorcerers. My order would never have used such barbaric magic against our enemies.
Rubbish. The dog focuses at the cat at your feet, baring its teeth and growling. You are. I wonder what keeps you. Tell me your tale. We are unfamiliar yet familiar. We are the same material, you agree? I am very curious. So tell me. Tell me your tale. Start from the beginning. Start from where you come. I see, I see. Now tell me more. Tell me what you do. Tell me what you find. I understand. Now tell me how your story ends. ambition. I have a token for you who seeks power. A gift. Power comes from strength, and strength comes from growth. These seeds sprout. So does the iron in your spine. I give my word. It is nothing. Many fragments swell on my shore. See what I gather.
may be, Sam. I only knew that it could be. She's much better off. Rubbish. Found you, didn't I? Red, they said. Red then death. Not an attempt, mate. Not if I can bloody help it. Time's up, Your Highness. Let's dance. <laughs> it, it's not stabbing time. something nearby.
won't say it again. Come on, chap. Don't be unreasonable. There's a reason to puke yourself to death. Now, now, let's not get nasty. Greet's better off, I'm sure. Keep a name out your mouth, how about? Easy now. Fifty bottles of tears, old. I thought she's dead. God. The smell. Better even to puke yourself to death than get purged. in and out and in again patience Mal patience boring here you are I wonder what keeps you we are unfamiliar so tell me tell me start from the beginning I see. I understand. A heavy burden. Take this rope. It is nothing.
frightfully busy at the moment, love. Haven't got any liquor on hand, have you? This fella could use a little comfort. What I ordered, ain't you a peach, love? An old deed here would thank you too if he could. Poor fella over there crossed one of Griff's card sharks and got a club to the skull. Don't to be sure, but I'd like to ease his way out. Is never the man sleeps so deeply, he might as well be dead to the world. It logically, she's much better off. Leave it, Sam. I won't say it again. Please, excuse us. You're talking to me, not him, Sam. Oh, for the love of Lucian Balladeer, you're acting like a madman. Say it again. What you said about my wife. Go on. Piss off. Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself to death a thousand times than let the Reds get to me. If she were my wife, I'd be happy for her. A flat smile twitches across Balladeer's lips. She never did like you. <laughs> The man looks for a moment at the corpse at his feet, then turns back toward the nearly finished coffin, bloodied hammer in hand. fella had no decency. If you don't have that, you don't have anything to live for. Maybe they're onto something then. Maybe we do belong here. He nods at you and turns back to his handiwork. He lo the bills, of course. Time's up, Your Honor. It, it's heavy time.
Their frightful manners I mind the most, really. That was rather fun, wasn't it? I do find it ever so invigorating to cut a cutthroat's throat. Oh, one gets used to this kind of thing so quickly. This is hardly the first time someone's filled some poor fool's purse and bid him kill the prince. I'll tell you what, though. Whomever wants me out of the picture will have to do a lot better if they seek to get the better of me. All those bumblers they've sent so far mark a mere insult to my swordsmanship. Let's go find more of the scum. You see, you'll touch it all day long. 
combs it out all dilly I day. Come on, you stubborn hunk of garbage. The dwarf's fingers clamp around a splintered chunk of wood nailed to the skeleton of an old ship. His whole body strains with the effort of wrenching the plank free, to no avail. Ah. Eh? Oh, that. That won't be my first or last roll on a lost boat. Reckon I might have had a harder time of it without your help, though. Bravery on the high seas is rewarded tenfold in the hall, you know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got business to attend to. The dwarf spits into each of his calloused palms and rubs them together, before placing them both back on the plank and pulling. Bleeding nail must be... charmed or something. Go on then, give it a go. You grab the plank and pull. The rusted nail pops loose, and the plank promptly crumbles to pieces in your hand. Oh, look at that. Nice of you to finish the job after I... Uh, loosened her up. He winks and flips a gold coin toward you. It makes a long, high arc, glinting in the sun, and lands squarely in your hand. For your trouble. I suppose it were a fool's errand thinking I could make something out of this heap, but I couldn't help myself from trying. He sucks a finger and holds it up to the wind, testing the breeze. Winds like these, she would have capsized before she reached the break. Well, on to plan B. He gives you a wry look, as though deciding whether to trust you. Aye, was planning to build me a raft and paddle off. I've got business north of here, in a town called Driftwood. Far be it from me to miss an appointment. Maybe you don't. He stands before you and pokes you in the side, seizes your shoulder with a great, strong hand. There's something of you, you know. You don't have to accept your fate on this bloody island. You can leave here, get on with your life. Why don't we make a deal, then? You help me get out of this place, and I'll do the same for you. That's the spirit. He lifts an invisible cap and bows with the grace of a courtier. Pleased to make your acquaintance. The name's... Well, the name's dead and buried. What matters is what they call me. Beast. You may have been cast out, but you can bet your last heel of breed she wishes she hadn't of. I've taken my revenge a thousandfold on that tyrant's fleet. I'll tell you when you're older. Anyhow, we're a team now, so the me is not half as important as the us. Let's get down to brass tacks. Fighting, I mean. I've been up and down the realm so often it'd make your cabbage spin, and I picked up a few tricks along the way. Truth be told, I've grown fond of crushing and casting. A battle mage, if you like. But there's not so important as team dynamics. So what'll it be? You've been around as long as I have, you pick up a thing or two. What do you have in mind? Then it's settled. Capital! Well, that's that sorted. Onward then. I've got to get out of here, and soon. And I suppose.
neither void will can consume their joy, their misery. Neither void will can consume their joy, their misery. The woman looks out on the gently lapping waves. She seems totally at peace, but as you approach, she turns to you with a cheerful smile. Haven't seen you around here before. New? Well, don't worry too much if you have a hard time settling in. Takes a while to get used to the place. You here alone? She gives you a long look. You keep them friends of yours close, eh? Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Not much in this world someone you love can't make better. It's nothing. If I haven't learnt that by now, I haven't learnt anything at all. Used to be I had a family. A husband and a little boy. We were healers. Source was in our blood. Then they brought us here. I couldn't stop them from taking my boys from me when they did. Reckon they were cured. Maybe even released. Don't know why the Reds didn't take me too. Now I'm just waiting for them to call my name. Waiting and remembering. Thank you kindly, sweetheart. I do appreciate it. They were good lads. Too good for this place. In some ways, I'm glad they got out quickly. Listen to me, bubbling on like a cauldron. You're sweet to listen. And yes, they were lovely. Totally lovely. I'll see him again before I'm gone for good. That's for certain. You run along now, darling. You shouldn't spend what little time you've got left here listening to an old bleeding heart moan. like a dog, a very pink, very long dog. I'd pity you, but Shaka the Ineffable has no patience for weakness. Laughing in the faces of my enemies, of course. 
little do they know, the most powerful sorcerer the world has ever known scuttles on their very shores. But of course, they'll happily dump your maggot ridden corpse into the sea when they're through with you. <laughs> This power is my birthright, same as yours, but one of us has grown to astounding heights and the other has sunk into depths too humiliating to describe. Pity. Sorcerers dance while magistrates pull the strings. Fools all! Their tomfoolery won't save them from the destruction the void shall wreak upon them. Ha! Of course, precious. But which is worse, the cure or the disease? Oh, ten bottles of mead. Oh. A thousand bottles of dust. Fifty bottles of tears, oh, make the engine rust. Boring. The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts, and doesn't look up as you approach. Hmm? The ground? I don't know what you... I'm just trying to work it out. What happened? Why? My mind? What else, my friend? I'm wondering why? All of this. Source, the Void Woken, the Divine. Why? We've used Source for thousands of years. We have used it to heal, to grow. How can it be that it suddenly summons these... these horrors from the Void? And when will Alexander ascend to divinity? We cannot continue like this. I fear it will be quite some... Mm. Goods. The dwarf slaps his knees and chest until a buoyant rhythm develops and begins to, well, not sing exactly, but chant. They stole me boots and burned me hat, but beast of the sea will come after. Oh, not bad for being off the top. He bows to an almost comical. Welcome to the joy, my famed friend. Well, I wasn't feeling so welcome till now. You almost had me dancing. You get any more songs in you? This savage beast could use some soothing. Well, I got a right good rebel whooper on hand, warning of the barbaric beast. The other, well, it ain't so respectful. But Royal Guards folk on holiday always ate it up. Gotta admit, I'm tired of hearing the shanties all singing my praises. Let's hear the Royalist tune. I bet it dresses me down real good. One Royalist tune coming up. Oh, Macca smiles, bastard born, the man had life enraged him. A gnashing varmint he became, so Queen Top then to cage him. A pitiful sight is inadequate fight. The quivering lump sent out a queen sight. Marcus Miles, bastard born, the royal knights upstaged him. Ha! I knew there'd be some good lines in there. Quivering lump. Too funny to be mad at. The royal guard, 
It seemed this while wandering the hinterlands, looking for rebels in the shadows. It was some time ago, of course, back when you were banished to the Isle of Mists. Beast looks to the ground for a moment, but just a moment. His cheeks rise and redden, and he roars in laughter. <laughs> Those were the days, eh, chum? Well, I've got to get moving. Good to see a friendly face, though. Ain't too many wandering around this glum camp. Ho oh, oh. ho! Ain't come to shake me down for my knickers, have ya? You're all I got left after your buddies were through with me. That's so. Huh. You look just like him. But then again, I never was the best. So, what's the news? Hurry, eh? Oh, Mummy's right here. Where she don't you? listen to reason. Ah, you're back. Please, did you find Irma? She still hasn't returned. Where could she be, my dear girl? You've been talking to that snake, Jeff, haven't you? I don't know where he gets these obscene lies. It's sick, totally sick, to torture a mother so. You stay away from that man, do you hear me? Irma isn't. What Jess says is a lie. You hear me? Irma, Mummy's right here. Where are you? I know you. Losa, the dark-eyed jokester you met aboard the ship, waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube. And you were Iffen Ben Mezd, right? Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? I saw you fall. We all did. Thought you were done for. When we get out of this place, I owe you a pint. So you managed to swim to safety, is that it? What about when you were in the water? Didn't hear anything unusual, did you? I heard the same thing. Do you know what this means? It means I'm not the only... Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Greyish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Her head snaps to you mechanically and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. 
The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Anyway, what were we talking about? Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, it was a shipwreck, all right. Not much more to say about it, I guess. Papa Joris used to tell me, Losa, he'd say. Losa, you ever find yourself in a sinking ship? Follow the rats. They'll find you a way out. Applies to a lot of situations, actually. Vermin tend to know what's what. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. It's just, I'm just a bit, well, a bit hospitable. Put it like this. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a... A roadside inn. Red door. Flowers out front. Friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. Now isn't that just the question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. Maybe a spectre, but I wouldn't bet money on it. So how are you enjoying the joy? Yeah, same story here. Reckon in my case, they might actually be right, though. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength in numbers and all that. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Lately, I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So. What'll it be? Sounds fine. So, we're good to go? Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay... myself. Lead the way. Thank <laughs> you. 